Boy, do I have a good haul for you guys. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jen. I'm a full-time reseller and I have been doing this for about four years now. I specialize in mid to luxury tier designer handbags, clothing, shoes, and accessories. I mainly do consignment. I used to go thrifting at Salvation Armies and Goodwills a lot, but I'm mainly just consignment now. And my clientele is based in LA and a lot of them are influencers, celebrities, and models. So they always give me a lot of really, really good stuff. This specific client is a fashion icon in my eyes. Her style and her taste in brands are just chef's kiss. So definitely stick around if you're looking to learn some new brands. I can guarantee that you will learn at least five today. And if you do, be sure to comment down below. Let me know what brands you learned. And if you enjoy my content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I do share a lot of really good info specifically on brands. I do a lot of hauls over on my TikTok and my Instagram too. So if you're on those platforms, definitely give me a follow and I'll leave those linked down below. Without further ado, let's get into the haul. I'm very excited. A lot of these brands were new to me as well. So I'm always learning about new brands myself. This will probably be a two-parter video because I have a ton of stuff. My business model is to sell things for, that are over $100 and $150 so are gonna make me and my client a really good profit because we do split a profit after Poshmark and eBay fees. So that's why I enjoy selling mid to luxury tier because the profits are way better. I've just never been a volume seller. I've always enjoyed selling things that made me a really good profit, even if that meant I had to wait a little bit longer. Everything in this haul will have a really high retail and it'll also have a really good resale value as well. I'll do my best to show comps. So I have not one, but I have two of these bags and this was a new to me brand these are in immaculate condition i don't know if she ever used these the brand on this bag is called falsito this is what the tag looks like really nice little bucket bag i'll try my best to leave the retail somewhere on the screen i take a long time to edit my video as it is and that just adds on to it so no promises but i'll try my best these two bags are by the same brand this is a super good brand. Mansur Gabrielle, I think is how you pronounce it. Sometimes I do butcher these names just because they're either French or something and I don't know how to pronounce it. Sometimes they're even English. So excuse me if I don't say the brand correctly. This is also by the same brand. This one's a little bit smaller. I love both of these. It does come with the strap so you could wear it over your shoulder. I have not looked up comps on any of these items, but I know for sure that they're going to be really, really good flips. I have not one, but two Colt Gaia bags. I love selling Colt Gaia and I personally love the brand myself. This one is the infamous little sparkly crystal handbag. It does have some wear. It has some wear right there, the corner, but Colt Gaia is an amazing brand. If you're not, un if you're unaware of it, always pick it up. Of course, if it's a good price, there's a lot of dupes out there for this one. So I was excited to get the real thing. And then this one I'm absolutely obsessed with. She did not use this one. It's brand new. And the details on this are just so pretty. I love the color. This would be perfect for somebody that's going on vacation. So uh, I'm excited mostly about this one because I haven't seen this one. This one is really cool. I thought it was a jewelry box when I first saw it but it is indeed a clutch or it can be worn as a shoulder bag. This is by the brand. This is so nice. Very contemporary, simple, modern wooden bag. I left the cutest for last. This is by the brand Alexander Wang. Very good Alexander Wang piece because it's more recent. The cutest little handbag. This I don't think was worn either. And we do have some Skims Fendi collab Spanx in here too. So I'll get those listed. These are the only pair of heels that she gave me this time around. And these are by Gia Borchanini. Borchini. It's what it looks like. And I just love the style on these. I love the pointed toe. I love the little strap right here. 
super, super cute heels. These are a size 39. All right, let's get into these clothes. All right, starting off strong. This is by the Frankie Shop. I love this brand. Very cool girl vibes. This is a beautiful forest green oversized blazer. This is a size small. This should sell for probably $300, especially because I haven't seen this colorway too much. I have sold a Frankie Shop blazer before in a camel color and I think that sold for two or 250. If it's more of an uncommon color, it's more than likely gonna sell a lot better. This is by the brand Me Plus M and I have not sold this brand before, but look how precious this is, especially with the color and the buttons on this. It's a very Veronica Beard. I've received this brand from her in the last pickup, but I have yet to list that dress so I can't tell you how this brand's going to do. But I have heard from Jack, from Jack and Ryan, and he said this was a good brand. So I'm excited to get this listed, especially because of this style. I think it's just gonna do that much better. If anyone's interested in anything, you can always shoot me a DM on Instagram or an email or leave me a comment down in the comments below. I always give my viewers and followers a better price than what I have it listed on Poshmark for because there's no platform fees. All right, another Alexander Wang piece. So Alexander Wang, this is the good Alexander Wang. There is a diffusion in brand and I'll put the tag right here. I can't think of what it's called. Maybe it's like Wang or something, but yeah, just be careful because that one it resells okay, but this is the one that's going to sell for money. This is a denim snap button down. Pretty basic, but a really good staple piece for your closet. This dress isn't from this pickup. It's from the last pickup, but I just have to show you guys because it's the same brand. And look how sick this dress is. Also by the brand Alexander Wang. I think it's a size four but I love this, all the zipper details. Very, very unique and kind of out there. Okay, so this isn't a new to me brand, but I do really like this brand because their styles are on point every single season. It's COS and I believe it's H&M's like higher tiered brand or something like that. This brand can be really expensive if it's a really good fabric content. And I know that sometimes they do collabs, but I specifically love this piece. I have one of these sweaters and I wear it all the time. It's this really beautiful gray color. And this type of style of sweater is very trendy. This is wool and cotton. It's 60% wool and 40% cotton. So this is one of those pieces that I know that will do really well. I'll probably list this around 150, just my guess. This is what the tag looks like if you're unfamiliar. Again, not every piece from this brand does well. You wanna look out for the really good styles, the collaborations, and pieces that have a really good fabric content. This brand is sold on Revolve. It's called Sir Oya, and it used to be really, really good. I wanna say probably like two years ago when not a lot of people knew about it, but I know that on Whatnot, a lot of people get palettes from this brand and it's kind of gone down in resale value. However, I still really like receiving it because it is a good brand really good quality and they make really good trendy pieces. So this is a size medium. Another really great closet staple. It's this cream snap button down. And I feel like this is just a good piece to throw on with a white tee and some jeans. This probably retailed around that $200 mark and I'm sure I'll be able to resell it around $75. This brand is sold at Aritzia. It's one of their house brand and it's called Babaton. I know that everybody on YouTube doesn't have access to like basic brands, bread and butter brands like this in your state. So that's why I like to share a brand like this that's bread and butter to me, but someone else that lives somewhere else might get really excited when they see this tag. So it's good to know basic bread and butter brands like this. This is a size large and it is 100% cashmere. If this were 100% cotton, I wouldn't have shown it in this haul. I really like selling cashmere. Cashmere sells really well for me. And something like this from Aritzia that's 100% cashmere, 
I would probably list at $100. Might be able to sell for more, I'm not sure. But a really good closet staple, really good fabric content. Those two factors, I'm really excited to sell it. Another really nice sweater. So this is a new to me brand that I have not heard of ever. It's called Gerard Daryl. Daryl. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. This is a size three, which I'm guessing is a size large. And this is a 100% wool oatmeal colored sweater. I looked up this brand and I want to say this is probably like a $400 sweater. So this is definitely a great brand to know. Sleeper is a really, really good brand. So this is supposed to have a pair of bottoms with it, but she only gave me the top. And this set together retails for $300 and it's a pair of pajamas. $300 pajamas. I'll be able to list this top for probably $100 by itself. But Sleeper is the brand. I'm not sure if they sell regular clothes. I want to say it's just... No, they do. They sell pajamas and they sell regular clothing like dresses. But definitely pick this up if you find it. This is another new brand to me, and it's called Maria Vittoria Paiello, for short MVP. This is a beautiful wool sage green sweater, another very expensive brand. I'll try to put the retail right here somewhere. Even though we're going into summer, I still will list things like this because over the summer, there are places that are colder than they are in California. And this sage green color is very popular and it's a perfect spring and summer color. I love selling this brand. It's sold on Revolve and it's called Helsa. This brand is really popular right now. I recently sold a duster linen trench coat twice in the same week from this brand. Uh, one of my clients gave me one in a size large and then another one gave me in a size small and they both sold just two days apart. One of them sold for full price for $380 and the other one sold for I think $250. The brand's very popular. From that brand, I would definitely say dresses and jackets do the best. All right, this is a very good brand. I just learned about it and it's called Nonchalant. It's new with tags. And I want to say this is like a three, four hundred dollar blouse. Sure, it will sell great. It has a little bit of a raw hem and a raw sleeve. All right, these are so cool. I wish I was cool enough to wear these. These are by the brand Diesel. Diesel is a brand that's been around for a really long time. Um, it's kind of like a streetwear type of brand. These are a really cool cargo pant. She gave me a lot of cargo pants, so that kind of makes me feel like those are kind of out. They had their time and now they're not in anymore because she's very on top of her trends and stuff. Starting to think that the cargos are out, sadly, because they were a really cool style for a while. This is what the diesel tag looks like. Diesel is a unisex brand, so I've seen a lot of men wearing them. I do believe that these are women's though. I feel like these could sell for like $150, $200. Another new to me brand that I just learned about. This, these are a really pretty pair of baby blue pants. And the brand didn't look like anything special to me. So I'm glad I looked it up. It's called wardrobe.nyc. Sold on places like Revolve, Forward, Shopbop, all those places. Yeah, their stuff is very expensive. I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys the tag. Uh, this is just what the tag looks like. It literally says wardrobe NYC. And then it does have this little blue tag right there. Don't even think she wore these. All right, these I'm obsessed with. These are such a cool style. They're by the brand Alexander Wang again, and they're like a tr tailored trouser, but the front looks like that. So they're supposed to be worn low-waisted with like a cute little white crop tank or something. But I love these. These are so cool. This is a new to me brand. It's called Oscar the Collection. New with tags. 
And this is another really fun, trendy, expensive brand sold on Revolve and places like that. But something as simple as this, I think was like $300, which is so crazy. I was so excited to see this. This is by the brand Rebecca Vollis, Vollance. And I've heard that name before. I think it was from Maeve Riley. And so when I saw that, I like knew instantly that it was really good. This is probably like a six, $700 dress. And it has these beautiful gold sequence flowers on it. And then it has it on the back. This would be perfect for somebody that's getting married. Oh, and it's new with tags. So that's exciting. Another super cute little mini dress. This is something that you would wear like to the beach or somewhere tropical. This is by the brand Bondi Australia. This is probably like a $250 dress, believe it or not. It is very, very stretchy. She gave me a lot of skims. I have some skims dresses in here. And I know that everyone loves Skims, so I just wanted to show you guys that, even though I'm sure all of you guys know what Skims is. But this is a little faux leather tube top. has lots of stretch. Um, I can't find the size. Oh, and this one's a size small. This is a really soft, very stretchy little crop brown tee. A nice brown bodysuit. I might keep that one. And then this is a set. This is a size small as well. It comes with a cute little muscle tee. And then it comes with these pants. Oh no, it's a skirt. So it comes with this skirt and then it comes with this tank. And I love a good set. This is the stuff that didn't fit on my rack. Okay, this was very exciting. My friend Shannon taught me this brand and it's called Rosy Corsets. Major, major bolo. I'm putting comps up for this one. I think this is like a $600 corset. So sick. I was so excited to see it. If you find this at Goodwill, even a buy sold trade store, I've never found this. I, I've seen this at Wasteland, which is a like higher end uh, secondhand store. But other than that, I've never seen this. So if you were to find this out in the wild, that would be absolutely insane. Okay, so this is a really affordable but really good brand. This is a 100% silk set. So it comes with these pants and then it comes with this top. And I'm pretty sure this is a set because this is a really short dress. But both 100% silk and it's by the brand Dish. She has a lot of pieces from this brand and they get a lot of attention in my closet. And especially because it's 100% silk, this can probably sell for like $150, $200. She gives me a lot of pieces by Shauna Joy. Shauna Joy has been selling really good for me, especially because a lot of the pieces have been 100% linen. And that's what the tag looks like if you're unfamiliar. Shauna Joy, I think it's sold at Anthropology, but it can be sold at places like Farfetch, Shopbop, um, Revolve, all those. And this is 100% linen, little midi dress. So cute, and it comes with this really chunky belt. Sorry, I keep on forgetting to share sizes, and I know people are always like, what the thing? I don't know, but I'm she's a size four, so I'm pretty sure this is a size four. This is a new with tags piece by that brand Mari and Eve. Really nice, comfortable linen cotton blend two-piece set. It comes with this comes with this top that wraps around. It has a belt that might be like a little kimono. And then it comes with these super comfortable pants. Another super good bolo brand. This is by the brand Solace London. A lot of my friends have sold this brand, but I never have. So I'm excited to finally get something from them listed. This is an off the shoulder top. And I wanna guess this is probably like a two or $300 top. But this brand, especially the dresses, resells really good. Another bolo brand, so many back to back bolos. This is by the brand Ackler. I've sold this brand before and their dresses sell the best for sure. We have a little one shoulder crop top, I think. Really cute. 
another beautiful, beautiful set. So this is a brand that I have like in my inventory. I just have yet to list it, uh, but it's by the brand Devin Windsor. Size large. It's this beautiful sheer maxi skirt. And then it comes with this really beautiful top that I think goes like this. And then it ties this. So cute. Looks so good on top of what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm going to share a few more items with you guys. Then we're going to stop and I'm going to have you wait until part two to see the rest of the stuff. Tags House of CB dress. If it's the right style, mainly a newer style, it'll resell it really well. My friend sells a lot of House of CB. This is the Caprice dress in it cream and this is so precious. I love the little knit detail right there. It is new with tags, size small. Okay, so this will be the last piece I'm sharing for today. And then I'm going to save the rest for part two, which I'm going to film right after this. But this is new with tags, Sandro. And Sandro is one of those brands that retails for a lot, but doesn't resell for a whole lot either. Unless it's the newer Sandro. So this is what the new Sandro tag looks like with the bold letters. So if you find the newer Sandro tag, definitely pick it up. It's worth it. I'll put a I'll put a photo of what the old Sandro tag looks like. Their older stuff just isn't cute. It's very plain Jane kind of mature lady vibes. No offense to anyone out there, but it's like not cute and stylish like this dress is. Like this dress is so cute. It has these beautiful knit ruffles. This would be perfect for vacation. And I'm really excited to get this one listed. I think it's going to do really, really well. That's all for today's video. If you guys want to see the rest of this stuff, I would say part two might be even better than this part was. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you get notified when that video goes up. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.